shows here and we were on our way to uh, to Europe for our European tour and I went to Italy uh, for two weeks and I know no one in Italy and the phone rings. Ring ring. It's Christine and she says, so Stevie what would you take if I decided to come back to the band? And 
first of all, I'm thinking it's an impersonator, right? Or it, this can't be real, right? I said, well, Chris, if you want to come back to the band, I think that it's your band and you can just come on back anytime you want. However, there's always a however, however in my sentences. However, you should come to Dublin and you should, if you're serious, you should come and watch us play because it is a long, difficult, very physical, three hour show. And you should know what you're getting back into. Because if you ever leave, you can't leave. You can never leave again if you come back. You cannot leave. We, we won't survive it again. She has been gone for 16 years. My dog is 16 years old. She has been gone for the entire lifetime of my 16 year old dog. If I had had a child 16 years ago, she would be 16 years old and Christine would have missed the entire thing. So that's how long she has been gone. So if you can even imagine how we, you know, how are surprised because why? So anyway, she came, she watched the show in Dublin. She said, okay, I think I can do it. And I said, um, okay, secondly, however, you should probably get a trainer. And she's like, she walks away. And guess what she did? She got a trailer, a trailer, she got a trailer and a trainer. And she's been working out every day since last February. I'm so proud. So this girl came back into this band without skipping a beat. She, I look over and sometimes I think, I don't think she ever actually left. It was just a bad dream. And then I wonder why, really, did she decide one morning, out in her castle, 40 miles outside of London, why did she decide to come back? Well, you're onto something, but what I think happened was, is that I think one day, last year, all of our fantastic Fleetwood Mac fans got up one morning and said, I think it's time for Chris to come back to the band. And I think that you threw that up into the universe, all basically kind of at the same time. And they say, if you throw something up into the universe, the universe will conspire to make it happen. So I think, and I tell you this from the bottom of my heart, I believe this more than anything. I think that's what happened. I think it's our fans that brought her back. And I want to thank you for that from the bottom of my heart. So that is what has happened to us over the last almost two years. And um, besides that, I want you to know that uh, I knew Providence was going to be great. I just felt it in my bones. And we wish you the best of everything. We wish you all the love in the world. Take care of each other. The world is crazy. So be, you know, throw, throw love out. Do everything you can do to all you need is love thing, whatever. I love you, and we all love you, and we all appreciate the support that you have shown us in the last 40 years. You are very special people. Have a great snowy night, cozy. We love you. Take care. We have had a ball! Yes, indeed. Uh, very quickly, celebrating this uh, part of our career and uh, progression as a band and having an audience so sweet and lovely participating as you. We are truly blessed. Thank you so very much. There would never be an evening and sometimes a crazy afternoon in the middle of some field in Texas or Australia or God knows where, at a festival in the afternoon that this band 
We would never leave the stage without the following from us in Fleetwood Mac to you. Take care of yourselves. And more importantly, in this extremely crazy world we seem to be living in, be so kind to one another. We do love you so very much. Thank you. And remember, the Mac is the most definitely bad.